the Super Dump versus the Dump Trailer. Dump trailers and super dumps both carry payloads up to 26 tons. The dump trailer achieves this big payload with its length, stretching the truck's weight over 51 feet. But while its length allows for the higher gross weight and bigger payload, its length also makes it incredibly cumbersome and difficult to maneuver. The super dump, on the other hand, achieves the big payload from a combination of length and additional axles, with the strong arm trailing axle being the key component. Even when loaded, with all of its axles deployed, the super dump's length is 17 feet shorter than the dump trailer. But when the super dump arrives at the dump site, all of its auxiliary axles are stowed, and the super dump then becomes a short wheelbase tandem truck. So at the dump site, at the loading site, and the entire return trip after dumping, the super dump has the maneuverability and quickness of a short three axle truck, 29 feet shorter than the trailer. The trailer's length makes it more difficult and slower to navigate through traffic, streets, and intersections. So the super dump will almost always make the trip between the dump site and loading site significantly faster than a trailer will. But the biggest slowdowns for the dump trailer take place while at the dump site, where the trailer driver must spend far more time positioning, aligning, and carefully backing in before dumping, and then when dumping, must raise the long trailer body much more slowly. Compared to a super dump, a dump trailer typically takes at least twice as long to dump its payload once it arrives at the site. Altogether, a super dump gets to the dump site, gets dumped, and gets back to the loading site usually 20% faster than a dump trailer, while hauling the same 26 ton payloads, which typically means up to 20% more material delivered by the super dump each day. For long distance jobs where the distance between the dump site and loading site are so far that the trailer makes, for example, only three trips to the dump site and back in an eight hour day, the limit of the eight hour work day might prevent the super dump from making more trips than the trailer. So both trucks would make three trips, delivering the same amount of material, but the super dump would complete the job faster than the trailer. However, for mid range or average distance jobs where a trailer can make five trips, the super dump will lap the trailer and make six trips, and that one additional load can mean a lot in additional revenue for the super dump owner. With 26 tons of payload, and conservatively we'll figure the revenue at $5 per ton, that comes to $130 in additional revenue from one extra trip. If we conservatively figure 200 work days per year, that would mean $26,000 in additional revenue each year if you average just one extra trip per day. And then if we figure 10 years for the life of the truck, which is also a conservative figure, that comes to $260,000 in additional revenue earned by the super dump over its life, if it averages just one additional load per workday. That means the additional cost of the super dump pays for itself eight times over in additional revenue alone. For even shorter trips, where a trailer can make around 10 trips a day, the super dump can then lap the trailer twice and make 12 trips, which doubles the additional payload delivered to 52 tons. The shorter the distance, the more the super dump's superior efficiency shows in additional loads delivered to the job site. So that for very short distance jobs, such as unloading a train at a plant, a super dump can make 10 more trips than a trailer in a single day. And in terms of hourly pay, the additional payload delivered or faster job completion by the super dump justifies a higher hourly rate. When the super dump can deliver 20% more material by making more trips, or can finish jobs 20% faster than the trailer, a 20% higher hourly rate is in order. So then if the trailer makes $85 an hour, a super dump would make $102 per hour, which is $17 more an hour. Figuring 8 hours per day, and 200 workdays per year, that comes to $27,200 in additional revenue a year earned with super dumps. And over the conservatively figured 10 year lifespan of the truck, that would mean $272,000 in additional revenue earned by the super dump over its life, in addition to what the trailer would earn. So then, no matter how your revenue is earned, when compared to a dump trailer, the extra expense of a super dump pays for itself eight times over in additional earnings alone. In addition to the super dump being more productive than dump trailers when working the same jobs, many more jobs are available for super dumps to work, where trailers are disqualified for various reasons. Trailers are very specialized trucks, 
and very limited in the types of jobs they can work effectively. So there's a wide range of job types where only straight dump trucks are hired, and not trailers. The versatility of a super dump allows it to work any job a trailer can work, as well as any job a straight dump truck can work. And the super dump outperforms trailers due to the better maneuverability and quickness, and outperforms all other straight dump trucks due to the bigger payloads. It's the best of both worlds, the proven leader in productivity and versatility, the super dump the most profitable dump truck on the road. If you like this video, please click the like button below the video. Subscribe to always catch our latest videos and leave a comment letting us know what you think. For more videos of the super dump versus other types of dump trucks, click this tile to go to our playlist containing only those videos.